Joanna Ross. Um, I hope I don't disappoint anyone when I tell you I'm not Jewish. I'm actually an Italian, Polish, Scottish Catholic. Thank you. Um, which I think is like being Jewish. We're always yelling, bitching, eating, feeling guilty, making you feel guilty, feeling guilty about making you feel guilty, drinking, and not giving blowjobs. Which I don't really feel guilty about. I'm not going to lie to you guys, though. I've actually posed as a Jew. With my last name being Ross, people just assume that I am. When they invite me to a temple, a seder, or a bris, I just show up. No questions asked. But I don't really stay too long at the bris, you know, I usually leave when they cut the cake, or anything else for that matter. I don't need to pretend I'm that Jewish. <laughs> because let's be honest, in the comedy world, being Jewish is like being royalty. It's kind of like being Asian and in porn. <laughs> yeah, which I should know, I pretended to be Asian too. You guys are warm and friendly. I like it. So I'm going to practice coming out to you guys because I need to come out to my family. Because I'm sick of the lies. I'm sick of calling them my friends. And I need to come out of the closet and tell them that I am not a virgin anymore. <laughs> Secretly, I think they knew. Because I'm 30. Five. I've also had these tits since I've been in second grade. And um, hello, I was raised Catholic. We're all whores. That's my problem with the Catholic religion. They're so uptight about me being a virgin, but yet you put me in an outfit to go to school. It's every man's wet dream. How long was I supposed to say no? Right. Nowhere else in the world do they do this. Nowhere else in the world do they ask you to do a job and not give you the proper attire, right? Like, policemen have bulletproof vests to fight the bad guys, and firemen have fireproof coats to fight the fires. You understand, you get my drift. So don't ask me to be a virgin and dress me up in a stripper's costume. <laughs> Besides, what did they think was going to happen? The only training I had was being on my knees for hours. <laughs> and saying, oh God. <laughs> to something that wasn't there. <laughs> All my Catholic people say, what? <laughs> so I'm in my 30s and I'm single. Thanks. And, um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being single, but sometimes it gets difficult, right? Everyone that's single in the house, it's, it's kind of difficult. Like when I went to go look for an apartment, I was filling out the application and the landlady looked at me and she goes, you got husband, you got husband, you got husband, right? And I was like, no. no. You got boyfriend, you got fiance, right? I was like, no. You're gonna be here alone, you're gonna be alone, you got nobody, you got nobody, you got no nobody, you got no Valentine. And I was like, I get it, I get it, I get it, bitch. <laughs> Single. Here's the thing, no one prepares you for being alone and in your 30s. No one in sex ed told me that as women get older, that we get hornier. <laughs> but now I understand why everyone bought me a vibrator for my 30th birthday. <laughs> I just didn't think I'd have to use them all. <laughs> skills class. Where's the life skills class in dating in your 30s? Because there's a point on every date where pretending I'm not a miss gets to be too difficult. <laughs> and being the Catholic whore that I was raised to be is a lot easier. <sighs> My friend told me there was five stages in a relationship. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I thought there was only two, fucking and not fucking. <laughs> How many of you ladies out there do get bikini waxes? This should go over really well. <laughs> and how many of you think that your wax lady mm, might have molested you? <laughs> do you guys hear about that pregnancy test that tells you right away that you're pregnant? Right away. 
was like, that's great, but who's going to tell the guy that I had sex with like four weeks ago? Because all I have is this Facebook page, and I think that's really inappropriate to put on someone's wall. I used to be a bartender, but I hated being surrounded by alcoholics. So now I teach yoga to kids. And I'm pretty certain I'm the only alcoholic there now. <laughs> Yeah. You know who's really mean? Five-year-olds. This little girl Katie looked up at me, she goes, you have a mustache. And I was like, no, I don't. She goes, yeah, I think you do. And I was like, yeah, at least they still don't wet my pants anymore. <laughs> On purpose. I teach kids that they're at that age where they're finding things in their pants. That's great. Don't find it in my yoga class. They also know the terminology for their junk now. And they try to sneak it into every conversation. I was teaching these kids and I was like, look forward at your hands, not back at your feet. Look forward at your hands, not back at your feet. This little boy Oliver goes, yeah, look forward at your hands, not back at your penis. And I was like, and moving on, you use every body part in every pose in yoga. And that little shit Oliver goes, even my penis? <laughs> that depends, does it work? <laughs> Don't test me, five-year-old. <laughs> little girls are worse. Once they know this is their vagina, they can't stop talking about it. <laughs> little Olivia ran up to me and said, my doctor told me my vagina has an infection. <laughs> I was like, so do I. So why don't you run to your cubby and get your medication? Because I don't have any health care. <laughs> I'm going to leave you guys with this. <laughs> why not leave there? Um, I'm going to leave you guys with this. I was walking around the city today. I'm like, what are you doing with your life, Joanna? What are you doing? What are you doing? You know what I'm doing? I'm rolling a joint. I'm smoking it and watching Saturday Night Live by myself. <laughs> Thank you. My friend calls me up, she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm rolling a joint, about to smoke it. Watch Saturday Night Live by myself. She's like, Joanna, it's Friday. <laughs> now I have a dilemma. All right, guys, my name is Joanna Ross. Thank you very much.